That makes sense. So let's get straight to it. Gary Russell pulls up on Leo Santa Cruz's dad. He told him that's not his jewelry. And he told him right in front of his face on the phone, he was telling Sam, uh, Leo Santa Cruz, quit ducking me. He feels that um, he don't understand the fact he actually pulled up. I mean, he saw his dad, but he couldn't catch the fighter. So what's your opinion on the whole situation? Is Leo Santa Cruz going to be pressured now to fight Gary Russell? Will he fight him? Um, why he's not fighting him? Why is Leo ducking all the smoke? Is Does he have cojones? Your answer. Uh, well, I, I don't. I think most fighters are not scared to fight anybody. Um, it just becomes a, a at a certain level in your career when you achieve a certain amount of status, it's becomes a business decision. And unfortunately, Leo Santa Cruz business is a lot more booming right now than Gary Russell. Um, part of that is Gary needs to fight more than one time a year. Who Cruz? Cruz ain't, ain't, ain't booming. Let's not let's be honest. Who is, I never heard. I haven't heard of anything about Eric Cruz really other than him calling out Tank Davis. But to be fair, I think fight, fear plays into some, some fighters. Let me explain. You box before. You obviously will fight anybody. But my point is this. There's a lot of reputation at hand. There's a lot of people, family, tuning in. You're not afraid of getting hit, but you're afraid of losing and losing money because that's how you feed your family. When you lose, we all know in the sport of boxing, your reputation takes a big hit. Mikey Garcia was a fight ago on the top five pound for pound on almost every list. One fight later, he got pushed down almost out of the pound for pound list. Why? Because he got the biggest ass whooping of the year. So fighters are afraid to lose. Not I, I I I think that's our problem. I like I, they shouldn't have, like we put too much. So to me, I don't, I don't, I didn't knock down Mikey all, all of that. It was just like he took a calculated risk, a fight that nobody picked him to win. And that was and like I think that I think that people <laughs> that should not put so much into one loss. I, we we need to get out of this Floyd Mayweather kind of mindset. Like oh, just like no, that's that's why we boxing fans. Our our product at this time is um, it it pales a little bit in comparison to mixed martial arts because you could you could lose fights you can lose a couple of fights but it's really about the way that you fight the way that you comport yourself when you're in the ring and it's about taking on those bigger challenges and don't be don't don't be so afraid. I, know, I, I agree with you. I agree with you a hundred percent. Canelo Alvarez took a calculated risk to fight Floyd Mayweather when he was probably too young stuff to do it. I don't think he. He's paying for that. He made a lot, a lot of money, and he's still in everybody's. He's he's on some people's list as a top pound for pound, and could um, honestly be said is the biggest star in boxing right now. So take chances. Let's just. I I I think part of that is us putting too much in 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 into somebody losing a match. Now, as far as Canelo, um, as far as his loss with Floyd. I mean, he, he fought Floyd when Floyd was 37. So he had the upper hand because he was the younger fighter, the fresher fighter. Um, he was not too fresh. He was 23 years old or 22. Um, at the same time, he had every advantage, you know, on his side. Floyd was old, but it was a good experience fighting Floyd and seeing how he operates and how he moves in the ring. But that being said, you do agree with me that fighters are afraid to lose. I'm not saying, I mean... You're not afraid of another man, but sometimes if you find a Deontay Wilder, you will be afraid of him because if you're not doing, he will put your lights out. He gonna yeah. turn you to a meme. You afraid of the backlash? You afraid of your family getting some hot dog and you out here already got knocked out? You know, so that's the fear factor that Leo Santa Cruz has. So I'm not saying. Uh, so he, Leo, I'm I'm not saying that. I would that is uh <laughs> that on. is not Professor Deals. I'm not saying that. At so you're all. saying I, so you I don't agree with that. I don't so agree you, with you're that. saying you saying Leo Santa Cruz is not ducking no action. No. He no. haven't well how how not? No. I think listen, Gary Russell likes to talk, man. Gary Russell talks a lot of man. he talked about tank, he's doing this. Gary Russell has to talk because he doesn't fight enough to get. A lot of people don't even know. If we go up to him right now and be like, do you know who Gary Russell is? They don't know you, who he is. I bet you they won't know Santa Cruz either. But my I'll, point is. I, no, no, I disagree on. with that. Hold on. Hold on. My point is this. Look, Gary Russell is a fact. He's been calling out 
Leo Santa Cruz for the past three years. He's been he calling won. out Tank, too. He's been calling is, out Tank. Is, is Tank ducking him? Tank I said no to the fight. So is that ducking him? Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I mean, is he? did he say yes to the fight? Absolutely not. So my question is this. Look, why does Gary Russell got to prove himself, got to win a title at 134, Tank to fight him, but um, Tank could fight somebody from 126 that nobody knows? He could have a replacement opponent and fight a bantamweight. He could fight unknown fighters at 130, but when it's a Gary Russell, the best 126 pounds, now, oh, Gary Russell got to do this. Oh, Gary Russell got to do that. Just with the Golovkin situation. When Golovkin claiming, everybody was claiming he was the most duck fighter in the world. When Larry was that, calling that, him out. That is not Gary Russell. But I'm person. saying, but what I'm saying he <laughs> that is, is not, though. That is Lara, not Gary no, no, Russell. Hold on, hold on. G- Gennady Golovkin had Andre Ward calling him out. He had Lara wanting to fight him. He chose not to fight those guys. He cherry picked. But on the other hand, Gary Russell, he's calling out uh, uh what's his name? Tank Davis. He's calling out G- Leo Santa Cruz. Three years ago, he went on national television, or, or two years ago, and he stayed on PBC. Leo Santa Cruz, Morris, quit ducking me. I want that fight next. What more can you do? He pulled up on his dad. Just fight. He pulled just, up. just fight, man. You but, fight once a year. I, look, you, look, your your see, business you doesn't seem right well. Here? This is called a strap. Okay. If, I, if I take this and I put this on Leo Santa Cruz's head and I tell him to sign the contract and fight Gary Russell, he won't do so. That's what I mean. You can't force someone to, to um, what should I call it? You can't force someone to fight somebody. They yeah. got to sign the contract. I hate me can't force Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz's son, his name is Al Heyman. He named his son Al Heyman. So obviously Al Heyman ain't finna uh, pressure Leo Santa Cruz or tell him, hey, look, you know, you got to fight this fight. That's the only fight I'm offering you. You know what he tells him? He tells him, look, if you fight Gary Russell, I'm going to give you opportunities. He still didn't want no smoke with him. Do, 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 don't you agree that Leo Santa Cruz moved up a division to, uh, to avoid Guillermo Rigondeaux? Um, I don't know. I, I think uh, a lot of people avoided him. Um, he just had a, um, particularly a few years ago. Now I think they're going to be more apt to fight him. Well, he he's just, still fighting. He just had a he just had a style that was um, was was hard to kind of um, find a key to unlocking um, that style. Um, he was he had one of those fights where you weren't gonna look good in the fight, and then a lot of times uh, because they were playing mental chess at a high level, there wasn't gonna be a lot of punches thrown to it. So Whoa. sometimes your your own per- the perception of yourself might go down because of fighting. So there was just a lot of reasons why people well, let, did let, avoid. Let's be him. honest, Guillermo Rigondeaux was pound for pound number three for a reason. Yeah, he was uh, he was literally unbeatable at the time at one twenty two. Um, because of his defense, his power punching, countering. I mean, um, Rigging out. if you throw punches at him, he will throw back. Santa Cruz throws 100 punches around. So yeah. he will throw punches against Rigging out. He just didn't want to get knocked down in the process. That's why he moved up a division to avoid a Rigging out. That's just basically it. That's the hard truth. Uh, Morris did the same thing. Uh, Quick, Frampton did the same thing. Uh, Donaire. Claimed he don't want to rematch Regan Diaz because he can't no longer make the weight. Guess who's fighting in EO next? Well, he, he's in a tournament. Donaire is fighting him in 118. But he claimed a couple years ago he can no longer make 122. Mm. So my point is... Uh, which I, is, I, I think is a lot more dangerous fight <laughs> than Regan Diaz, in my opinion. What? Against... Um, Inui. Inui. But yeah. that's because he's just too washed at this point of his career. I believe the and old it, Donaire... And Inui is a monster. If but I have believe, not seen I, him fight. I believe the old Donaire, if he's still the former himself, I believe he possibly uh, would beat uh, Inui. He could Inui? because of that. Know. Because I, of his uh, size and advantage. It. We'll see. But my point is this. They ducking Gary Russell the same way at 126. Frampton, Oscar, uh, Leo Santa Cruz... And they moving up in a division. Leo Santa Cruz wants to move up in a division to avoid and use Tank name to avoid him. Do you what's, know what's what's Gary's biggest win? I mean, you hold seem on, to on, be really on. impressed with Gary Russell. I'm I, just saying, what's the guy wants all the smoke. We want to see the best versus the best. Ain't Loma, uh, ain't uh, Leo Santa Cruz a champion? Um, at 126. Maybe. 126. I hope so. He beat Abner. I mean, sometimes fights just can be made just 
uh, for it, but I'm not. But, but um, I'm saying he is a champion. Yeah. And 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 Gary Russell is a champion, the WBC champion, the longest reigning champion, him and Deontay Wilder since 2014. Mm-hmm. So. He had nobody's able to dethrone him, and he wants these fights, and these guys ain't willing to fight him. So I'm saying he wants the smoke. We want to see one name, one face in every division, just like the old school. Instead of four belts, one belt. So in order for that to happen, these champions got to fight each other. Mm-hmm. Leo Santa Cruz just want to hold the title. He don't want to fight the other champions. He he want to fight Frampton, a guy who he got a chance against, but he don't want to fight the Gary Russell. Why? Because he want he don't want to get destroyed. Obviously, if he ducked the rigging out. Why would he fight um, a Gary Russell now, who's kind of has the same similar style, fast, um, has a nice IQ, all that. But my point is, Gary Russell got upset at Tank Davis for trying to steal the Cruz fight from him because he was trying to make that fight happen. But Cruz used Tank Davis' name, claiming I'm going to move up and wait and fight him and mm-hmm. avoid both fights because he, was in one of, he didn't want to fight um, Tank Davis either. Then Tank Davis moved up to the 135-pound division because the Cruz fight didn't come to fruition. And now, Leo Santa Cruz is stuck with fighting uh, Gary Russell because Gary Russell mm-hmm. pulled up on his dad. He wants all the smoke. And Leo, um, Gary Russell also called out Tank Davis and all the big names, literally. just He just wants to fight. He stated the reason why he's inactive is because nobody's willing to fight. Who are you going to fight well, if nobody's that's, willing that's, to fight? That's not what he stated, actually. He stated that he had to kind of take care of business, and it was all these. He had a lot of excuses for why he wasn't, why Busy. he was inactive. Well, that's what he like stated that. last night on the Barbershop Conversation, on the interview. He stated that, um, you know, the reason he's fighting one time a year because it's not nobody really want to fight him from the top competition. So all he does is stay busy as much as he can and take care of business till the big fights come along. Uh, mm-hmm. The Mexican fighter he fought, what's his name? I forgot his name, man. It was a really good fighter, a really good prospect. His uh, last fight? Yeah, uh, it might not was, be his last it was, fight. Um, it was, wasn't it Jojo Diaz? Jojo Diaz, yeah. I think it might, it might be Jojo Diaz. Yeah, but he, he, I mean, Jojo Diaz is a good fighter. I believe he's better than um, Cruz. Cruz, in my opinion, get hit too much. Uh, he's a good fighter, but he's so basic. Like, man, Cruz, uh, he will get he smoked. By, by, yeah, by, I mean, Cruz, Cruz has a style that deal uh, that is dependent on attrition, and he won't last long at the top level. So, do you uh, agree he's stuck? I think that he's making uh, a business decision right now, Gary. What kind of business decision? The Gary Russell fight, just doesn't do good business. The right biggest now. fight for Leo Santa Cruz at this point, since the Tank Davis is out of the picture, is a Gary Russell fight. So. What is a good business decision? He's not making a good business decision. I'll see. He, he, he a good his, duck position. Well, he's his 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 guy is Al Heyman, and um, that guy knows what he's well, doing. He can, Al would, Heyman cannot push would, you to go in the ring. I would I would I would trust Al Heyman with my boxing career. I mean, I would trust him too, but I, like I stated, Al Heyman can't force him to take on a fight. He can't be like, oh, sign this contract. Like he has to be willing. Like he can't put a gun in his head. Oh, fight Gary Russell next. He cannot force him. He I, has well, to be willing to. I, I, I'm not sure. Okay, like I said, I'm I'm just getting privy to this news. But what I'm saying is that um, I think they're they're going to make a good business decision. I'm not even like Leo Santa Cruz hasn't come out with a statement uh, there. But I and think Gary Gary like Gary needs to all, like all the news that Gary makes is through interviews and through confronting people. It's not like it's not in the ring. Uh, which I mean they're. Can be a case to be said. These guys are not fighting him and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're not I didn't in the ring I, like. I, I haven't known that to be the case, but what I'm saying is like I'm I'm more interested in him. St- stop trying to troll on social media and like I, w- I want to see some jaw dropping um, performances in the ring that uh, will have people be like, oh, this is the guy. We need to see him fight. I want to see him the fight more. The more impressive he looks, the more he will get ducked. That's what I'm saying. You want to see that, but in order for us to see that, Leo Well, Santa you got to fight more than one time a year. <laughs> I don't well, fight 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 some other fight some some comp, fight some who? make some people come like my, there's you can fight anybody in the top 10, anybody my, my in the top point, 5 my or whatnot. Point, my point, Leo Santa Cruz. Abner That's Mar-Rez. one fighter. Hold on, hold on. There's one he fighter. He called out more than one fighter. Leo Santa Cruz, Abner Mares. Uh, he said all these fighters are men with high heels and skirts. My point is, Leo Santa Cruz has to grow some cojones in order for us to see this jaw-dropping performance by 
Gary just, Russell, I haven't right? seen. He's had fights. He fought. My point fought is, this year. look, we got phones nowadays. Interviews, you could contact anybody, contact any expert, any uh, boxing writer, and tell them, oh, I'm willing to fight Gary Russell. I don't know what he's talking about. He pulling up on my dad, disrespecting my dad. I'm yeah. gonna see you next. I got cojones. I'm gonna fight you. Or right, you don't. Or right, you can all talk all to all Al Heyman, and you can go about business. What I'm saying is, like, I, he is a he is a business entity. And he's just not, I don't think he's going to jump out of fight just because somebody got on social media and was trolling. He been, this fight supposed to happen three years ago. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> what I'm so, saying, <laughs> listen, Gary Russell has fought two times in the last three years. It, 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 listen, if he was super active and knocking all these people out, I could understand that. This guy does not fight enough. Who have Cruz fought? Cruz For fought Frampton. Years. He's fought Abner Maris. He's fought them a couple of times. He's I mean, like, because well, he, he, has, he has a following. He he headlines shows. Gary Russell hardly headlines any kind of show that I can remember that has a, been any kind of. Point. What I'm saying is just like he, I think he needs to do more for his case. Um, he's a good fighter uh, at this time, and you know if Cruz, I think Cruz will fight him at some point. When when he die, when he's fifty years old. Really, you talk about twenty year olds. Come on, man, give, come give, on. Who's give him old? The, They about to be twenty nine or something. Leo Santa Cruz. Man, that dude look like he's forty. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The problem that I'm having with Leo Santa Cruz is that he duck, he ducks all the best competition. He will go down in history as pound for pound number one best ducker in history because he avoids all the risky fights. Yeah, he will fight Frampton. Yeah, he will fight Quig. Yeah, he will fight uh, what's his name, uh, Morris. But that's because they winnable fight. If a fight is not winnable, it's automatically uh, canceled. Like he would not take the fight. Like I said, Gary Russell been pressing, pressing this issue for the past three years. He been hardly, he called Doc Cruz on TV, on any views. On, like, what more can the man do to get the fight? He just want the smoke. You talking about, you talking about, oh, well, he not doing this. He not selling tickets. He's not that. He's not being active. As far as being active, that's one thing. But when fighters ain't willing to fight you, is another. On top of all that, it's about the best being the best. Fighter, the best getting in there with the best in the sport of boxing. So at the end of the day, this we're not watching the sport to see who has more fans. We watching the sport to see who's the best. So yeah, but listen, we're, we're, so we're, Mar- if, if, we're not we're not fighters. We don't put our bodies at the line every time we step into there. They have to make a sound business decision. When Floyd did it, we said that he was genius. He was all Floyd, of this. Don't not compare Leo Santa Cruz to Floyd, man. Floyd Floyd, <laughs> Floyd didn't make business decisions when he fought. He always fought the best That's as far true. as as far That's as fighters coming off their biggest win. Who did Floyd Mayweather have like Gary he, Russell calling him out he, like he, that? He, Name he, me he, a fighter. He, he fought Zab Judah after a loss. Um Zab with, Judah. With, 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 when he went up to one forty, the the um the unequivocal best at that time was Casa Zoo. He fought Gotti because Gotti had the pay per view numbers and it was a strategic decision. And what happened to Zab Zoo? What happened to him? He he lost to Ricky Hatton. And what happened to Ricky Hatton? Well, it don't matter. Like, he, he, but like, he beat, but like, he beat. Floyd should have beat. Floyd should have beat Zoo. No, but right? he was on a fast track to get to Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, what he I'm was, saying he is like, it, 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 he made he made a big decision. It wasn't it wasn't just like I want the very best in this the, this division. I want to fight them. He did not do that at 140. No, 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 he no. made a business decision. No, no, no. Hold on. As far as you got to understand, if I make a business decision decision, that's more that will wait more in my legacy, then I would do that. For real? Example, so so Gotti. So be, hold up, hold up. Not like Gotti. Forget Gotti. I'm talking about after he fought Gotti. The reason he didn't stay at the 140 because he was heading for the big monsters like Oscar, like um, what's his name, um, uh, the the Baldemir, the guy who beat Zab Judah, the that guy was, who who they claim a, <laughs> they claim that was not he a was big the, fish. He knocked out. Well, he Baltimore. beat he beat Zab Judah when Zab Judah was the undisputed welterweight champion. You, Did gotta you, you keep, saw that fight, right? Yeah, but listen, you got to saw that fight, you, right? You got to keep in mind. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. With Zab for Baltimore. No, now, no, hold on. Zab yeah. embarrassed himself no. in, front, in front of his in front of in front of his 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 Brooklyn people. Uh, I got he, a question for you. So Terrence Crawford, right? Yeah. He beat Gamboa. Yeah. Right. I mean, Hold on. Gamboa. Yeah, he beat, he beat Gamboa. He beat Gamboa and Gamboa was still Gamboa a little bit, right? Now look at Gamboa today. Let's say Tank Davis fight him. And beats to Gamboa. Would you give Gamboa 
I mean, would you give Tank Davis the same credit you gave Terrence Crawford for being Gambo? Um, no. I don't, I don't know. I mean, like Terrence Crawford is a naturally bigger fighter. He had all of the I, physical I forget advantages. All, forget all that. Forget all that. I'm saying, would you give him more credit for being Gambo? Because Gambo beat him when Gambo was still Gambo. Not Gambo lost to a guy with four losses. I mean, with four knockouts in his previous fight or the fight before that. So my point is, if Tank Davis beat him now, would you give Tank Davis the same credit you gave Terrence Crawford? It matters when you fight your opponent. Floyd Mayweather fought Valdemir when they were claiming Floyd was ducking Valdemir. So Floyd had to fight Valdemir. If Floyd fought somebody else, then somebody will say, oh, he ducked Valdemir. Just like when he avoided certain fights to fight bigger fights, it's not called avoiding. He fought a bigger fight that means more for his legacy, like an Oscar De La Hoya fight that made him a, 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 a fighter that, that will go down in history as one of the biggest pay-per-view stars in the sport of boxing. Let's not forget, Floyd, pretty boy Floyd called out everybody. And Floyd never had anybody disrespect him and to his face, disrespect his dad or whatever, and Floyd didn't fight him. Because remember, when Sugar Shane Mosley hopped in the ring, and Sugar Shane Mosley was ducking Floyd Mayweather when Floyd was pretty boy. Sugar mm -hmm. Shane claimed, oh, my teeth hurt. I got to go get a surgery when Larry mm -hmm. asked him, right? But after Floyd Mayweather became Money May and fought Marquez and came out of retirement, Mark Mosley was quick to hop in the ring and was like, yo, Floyd, uh, you know, when we going to make this fight, stop ducking me, whatever. Floyd got offended. What Floyd do? He fought him. After Mosley coming off what? A Margarito knockout. He fought him. Floyd fought Ortiz after Ortiz knocked out Berto. Floyd May Mayweather fought Canelo after Canelo knocked out Trout. Floyd Mayweather fought Pacquiao after he, he Pacquiao did, he beat Algeria. He didn't knock out Trout. I mean, I mean, beat Trout, my bad. But mm -hmm. my point is, uh, become uh, the, the unified champion uh, or the, yeah, the unified champion at 154. So I'm saying is, Leo Santa Cruz, who is talking about him as a pound-for-pound -pound fighter, even though he moved up three di weight divisions and got three belts in three different weight divisions. We, he not talk, we're not talking about Leo Santa Cruz like we talk about Mikey Garcia, like we talk about, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Like we talk about Terrence Crawford, like we talk about Lomachenko, even though they fought in three divisions also. But that's, yeah, he's, uh, he, he's, but not, that's because he's he not ducks as the best. Well, he's not as dynamic as those. And he ducks the best. He's not fighting the best. When, when, when you have a fighter that in your same division, this fight is calling you out and asking for all the smoke and you're avoiding the fights as much as possible, people ain't going to have respect for that, even your people. I never heard nobody claim Leo Santa Cruz is a pound-for-pound -pound fighter. But like I said... You should look at it like Floyd. He everybody was ducking him in his pretty boy stage. They only wanted to fight him when he became Money May, and he was still fighting the best available opponent that's coming off a big victory. Unlike Manny Pacquiao, for example. Except for, except for Zab Zab Judah. Well, that's when he was still pretty boy Floyd. But the reason the Zab Judah fight got made is because they was building that fight before Zab Judah lost to Baldemir. He just blew that shit up. And instead of getting paid $12 million for that fight, he ended up getting paid $3 million, I believe. But my point Zab is... Zab lost a lot of money. Yeah, Zab lost a lot of money. He right. could, If he stayed focused, he could have been somewhere else. But my point is, Manny Pacquiao fought fighters coming off losses, like uh, Margarito getting knocked out by Mosley. Um, not fighting Mosley when, when Mosley knocked out Margarito, but he fought Mosley after Mosley lost to Floyd. So my point is... You can't compare Floyd to Leo. That's like almost a no-no. Like because Leo is literally avoiding every big fight, you know. And and, and it's not Gary Russell's fault because Gary Russell won all these big fights, so he cannot force these guys to get in the ring with him. If they don't have no cojones, if you was not born with cojones, you know, he, Gary Russell cannot donate cojones to him. He couldn't donate money. But right. he can't donate cojones. Well, <laughs> on this, we are definitely going to have a split decision. Because, <laughs> but, but that's what it's all about and everything. Yeah. So we are coming to the end of our first episode. And I want to give a shout out to the host, Aki. Aki, all day at Professor Nam. It's a real-time professor, a real-life professor, and a professor when it comes to the sport of boxing. So like I stated, if you want to get educated, to the sport of boxing, and you know, um, you want to tune in, always tune in to Split Decision. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute, if you're trying to get dumber by the second, don't, and listen to these casual fans. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live. 
and to be continue on the next episode of Split Decision. Uh, thanks for ha- so for being here, uh, Professor Nim, and we see y'all next time. We out. We out. Huh? See y'all.